on some Michigan State land. Um, it's 48 degrees out here today. So you can see I got the dogs out. They've had some cabin fever. So a good day like today is a good day to get out and walk. Kind of wanted to show you some of this video because there's a huge clear cut right over here that as soon as the uh, snow is melted off before the growth comes in, I'm going to get out and walk through it. I really enjoy doing it that time of the year um, because the uh, any deer that didn't make it through the winter uh, for whatever reason wounded hunting car uh, you know whatever reason coyotes that passed away will they'll generally run into a, a thicket like that um, so I found a five point earlier uh, this year when we didn't have snow and another clear cut but I didn't really think to video it so here's the uh, the clear cut so as you can see it's it's quite a quite a section of land that's been clear cut and you can see how thick it gets this is a, a nice section of land um, I'm not quite sure it's public land um, commercial land I think I don't really know the uh, description of it but you can uh, hunt it you can walk it um, you can do about anything you want but no motorized vehicles so that's always nice um, I have already seen about five or six stands when I was out here earlier I did manage to hunt it one day this year, uh, late, late muzzleloading season, and I seen two deer, uh, but by the time I seen them, they had already gotten sight of me or winded me or I don't know what deer do. It's hard to say. You know, they just they just take off. There's Bailey dog, blue dog, and Brandy. So, if I don't get these dogs out regularly, they'll commence to fighting and arguing with each other. I'm already on a first name basis with the vet, so that's what I'm trying to avoid. And I had knee surgery just after Christmas. So I'm in the, the last week of, of uh, me being off. So the weather's finally broke. You know, it wasn't four days ago, it was negative 14. So it's kind of nice to get out and get some fresh air and do some scouting. I like scouting this time of the year more than I like scouting in the fall. Uh, you can see a lot more of the deer trails. You can see where they steadily run. Uh, you can pick out other hunters' stands a little bit easier, so you're not intruding upon their their hunt. And if you wait till you know just after the snow melts. Before things start greening up, before scavengers really start tearing into things, uh, you have a good chance of finding, uh, you know, a, a dead buck or a doe, and that'll help you too. Know, okay, this thing was injured and it ran here. Why? Cover, security, water. Was it pushed there? Um, that'll help you answer those questions because the time comes that you're hunting and you shoot a deer and it runs off in the direction where you've already found deer, dead deer. It'll kind of help you uh, maybe predict where it's going to go. 
I unfortunately this year gut shot a a doe and it went in through her liver through her get belly and landed in her rear hind leg so I waited went down figured out what happened I went back sat down kind of thought about it waited another couple hours and I circled around to the other side and I seen her bedded and that was simply because I knew the area and I knew what was going on and I knew the direction she ran in and I know if she wasn't pushed she had bed down so I was able to circle around her and get on her and uh, shoot her again and collect my prize so there's some pointers for you I thought maybe uh, somebody would enjoy this winter walk any questions or comments uh, let me know